guys out here, none of us would have this job. We wouldn't stand here. We wouldn't be able to live these dreams. It, it literally, it wasn't for them, you guys. So, thank you guys, and I really appreciate you guys watching the show and supporting us. So what was it like uh, playing volleyball with Serge and Ryan? It was a lot of fun. We uh, whipped their butts. Really so anytime you guys want to rematch, bring it. Um, but yeah, they were really enjoying it, so we had a lot of fun. So I, I see the, the, sort of the history of golf forms, uh, how it originated. Uh, who was sort of the stepping stones for this golf form theory? Um, and then after that, we're going to have Ryan, Michelle Belanger, Elfie and Josh, and Dr. Tap sort of do a panel discussion about thought forms, and they'll sort of share their different beliefs and uh, theories on what they think they are. And uh, at which point at the end, we can also field questions. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Yeah. Yes, sir. If we are unfamiliar with thought forms, we get a problem with a lot of you before we start. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about thought forms? Josh bought his kit. All right, Robert. Um, well, it's in the black case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's 
Sergi actually will be moderating the panel, which will be interesting. I will do my best. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The up. We apologize in advance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you, Serge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's in, the main reason why we wanted to have this lecture is because this is very important for why we are here and why we are so excited to bring people here. The thought form theory is so different from what we understand about the supernatural. And it was something that was brushed upon in the show, um, and now we want to discuss it more. It's really fascinating. So like Sergi said, we're going to play a video that discusses, and this was talked about in the show, about how a group of investigators created a spirit. I you, met L. Peacock in a news conference. They're going, she met a peacock. <laughs> play this video for you and it's about 20 minutes long and then we're going to go into a discussion because I know a lot of people have questions about how this, if, if some people are saying there's evidence that we're able to create spirits, what does this mean to the spirit world? How, do we, how does this apply to miracles and religion and God? If we as human beings can get together collectively and create a spiritual entity. Uh, so, for the this video, we'll have a discussion. We very much want you guys to participate in it. So, enjoy the video. And if you were to sum up the field trip in one word, what would that word be? Um, as always, amazing. People. People over here. Uh, you get to see the full spectrum. Yeah. Alright, and last one here. Would you guys do it again? Absolutely. This is my third, and I plan on keep coming back. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can go. We're hooked now. We're okay. hooked. Yeah. All right. One word. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't really have one word. It's, it's, it's fun and informative. It's a lot of, a lot of different things. It really is. Cool. I'm very tired because I'm not used to staying up late. I'll just talk about the ghost hunts or anything like that that you do on TV. I'm talking about these conventions that you do. And speaking as a, like a Canadian girl, a Canadian girl perspective, I've had questions, I've never had any experiences, but I've always had questions about the paranormal, and about spirituality, and about just life in general. And to be able to come to a convention like this, and to get, and to meet all of you, everybody in this room, and to make friends, perfect strangers that were just willing to pick me up at a bus stop in Erie somewhere like I've never been before in my whole life. <laughs> it gets amazing to me and I appreciate it. Do you realize just what you've done <laughs> and what you've accomplished? <laughs> I'll say this, we are only as powerful or influential as the people around us and Yes, maybe we started something, but it's really you guys who help. You know, when we were pushing for Darkness Falls because it meant something to us politically about changing the show and the message, you guys responded. When it came to coming together to defend us and what we stood for, that mattered. When you guys come to these events, you guys hear what we are interested in, but then you guys give us strength and inspiration to keep going. There's been many times where I wanted to leave this field because I was tired of it and all the weird stuff that people do, you know, and what they say about us. And I go to these events and we find friends and a community. You know, essentially paranormal research is just a new quest in spirituality finding yourselves to answers. We all don't have to be Christian, we can be Catholic, Buddhist, you know, or just searching. And we all have our own ways of doing things. We come together. And you know, you guys have changed us just as much as maybe we've changed you. So thank you guys. And thank you for bringing up that point. Welcome to PRS field trip number eight, guys. So here we're going to start the lecture with Heather and Katrina, and they're going to talk about all their training that they've done with PRS. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, hey, everyone. First off, uh, thanks for coming to our lecture. It's a pretty big turnout. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so um, as you guys know,
guys know, Heather and I started training with PRS in um, 2006. And, um, you know, we kind of worked our way up through the ranks. So we just wanted to open the floor for any questions you might have for us. Any questions. What it was any like questions. going through training. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what's it like working with Ryan Boone? Uh, uh, well, I mean, Ryan's cool. You know, he, we, we've, like, become pretty good friends. And he's a nice guy. He's really yeah. goofy. So he's, he's got a fun side, too. Yeah. 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 Is he going to come, like, at the end of this lecture? Is he going to show up? Ryan? Yeah. Uh, um, well, this... I mean, this is our he's, lecture. <laughs> he's kind of, I, he's like another lecture in an hour or so, so you might be able to catch him there. Yeah. Yeah. Does Ryan have a girlfriend? Um, His Facebook status says he has a girlfriend, but does he really have a girlfriend? Uh, so Ryan's Facebook status says he has a girlfriend? Yeah. Is that, that's your question? Yeah. Um, Ryan, Ryan does not have a girlfriend, no. <gasps> so. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So is Ryan going to come in any time, like now in like the next five minutes? Because i got to go, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we don't know where he's at right now, no. um, so I can't answer that question. Any no. questions about our training or yeah, anything? Like our Heather experiences on the show? On the show or you anything? Know. Does Ryan win boxers or briefs? That's my question. Oh, that's my question. That's my question. Oh, my question. Oh, my um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think we can cut. Is Ryan going to show up? Like, I need to go. So, are there any questions not about Ryan? Not. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming to our lecture, and um, Ryan will be here in an hour. Yeah.